Hey everyone, you're on a People Systems channel, my name is Daniel, and today's video is a quick reference for everyone who considers getting an Ajax Systems sensors. There you see, they they all are. And well, a title reflects a contents with a 100% accuracy. 20 Ajax senses in one video with a tips, tricks, descriptions, advices for every single one of them. Every. And altogether, about Ajax system sensors, what are they intended for, why do you need it, and etc. So after you're done here, go to the People Systems Store website and get yourself some within a worldwide delivery and specify you're subscribed to get your special offer. Subscribe to People Systems YouTube channel and get your special offer on every deal. We are going to divide all the sensors we have here into the groups by their use purposes and functionality. So here they are. The first group is a system's core, the brains, and consists of an Ajax Hub, Hub Plus, Ajax Rex, and Hub 2. Next up, we have an indoors detectors. Ajax Motion Protect and Motion Protect Plus, Combi Protect, Motion Protect Curtain, Door Protect, and its Plus version, finishing this with a Glass Protect. Then we got an outdoor section represented entirely by an Ajax Motion Protect Outdoor. After, we'll take a glance on the fire and leaks uh, prevention devices. Ajax Fire Protect, Fire Protect Plus and Ajax Leaks Protect. And then we got an appliances used to control a system. Ajax Space Control, Key Fob, Button and Keypad. Ajax Home Siren then and Street Siren coming next and Finally, and in total 20 devices, and for each group here you can find a timestamp in the description below. But number one, the Ajax Brains, um, shall we begin? Here you see all the hub devices and, and the Ajax Racks. So Ajax Hub is where your acquaintance with the Ajax system starts, because that is the brain. A mini introduction, none of sensors is able to connect to internet and they actually have only a single data transmission channel, and that is a radio waves under the Ajax unique Jeveler radio protocol, operating under 868 MHz frequencies. And here comes the Ajax hub, which is, well, basically a bridge between a sensor and a user due to its capabilities of converting a signal that comes from sensors onto a notifications that, in their turn, go to your phone over an internet. So Ajax Hub receives and sends data, makes sure all the sensors are operating uh, hassle-free real-time and decides how to deal with the incoming signals. Hub Plus and Hub version 2 are the extended versions, having some improvements, but the main of which is the increased, increased system scale. Thus, a number of sensors connected simultaneously for the Hub and Hub 2 is a hundred. They support maximum 50 users in interaction with the system, 50 rooms and 9 user groups. In its turn, Hub Plus supports 150 devices, 100 users, 50 rooms and 25 groups. And what else is different for the Plus version is a Wi-Fi support and a 2 backup 3G able SIM card slots, which in total makes a 4 channel set for the Hub Plus including the internet over a wire. And, but Hub and Hub 2 are not having a Wi-Fi and a 3G support and there's only a 1, 2G able slot for a Hub regular. Oh, that's it. And speaking of functional and functional numbers, they're identical for all of the Hubs. 2000 meters of operating range for all, 50 milliseconds to transmit a thread signal to a user, 12 to 300 seconds detect a polling period, and a built-in lithium battery to withstand up to 15 hours with the electricity down. And after announcing a third-party NVRs and cameras supported by Ajax hubs, the numbers got updated too and they are 25 third-party appliances for the hub and uh, Hub Plus and 50 of devices for Hub Plus. And Hub 2 is the only device to support an upcoming Ajax motion cam sensor, which in the end you may easily guess from its name. Ajax Rex now, and it looks identical to Ajax Hub as you can see. And I suppose Ajax just took the Hub body, got out some brains and replaced it with a battery. So it's up to 35 hours against up to 15 hours for Ajax Hub and Hub Plus with the electricity grid down. 
And seriously, you've probably seen a signal area extenders before, but it all concerned an internet signal. And here it's about extending the area of radio communication, under which the entire AGX system devices operate. So yeah, this is a radio signal range extender. AGX Rex creates an additional radio point within an operating range of 1800 meters, which is 200 less than the area that AGX Hub creates. It supports up to 149 sensors connected simultaneously. And actually, if the connection with a hub gets interrupted, Rex is smart enough to take control of connected sensors on him. So they've kind of left some brains in here. Next up is the AJAC detectors indoors category, and this is what we have in it. So, AJAX Motion Protect, Motion Protect Plus, Cambi Protect, Curtain, Door Protect Plus, and it's uh, Door Protect, yeah, and it's Plus version, uh, and the Glass Protect. And this is the most basic alarm sensor in the world. We're gonna talk about the PIR sensor, and it is uh, a basement for the Motion Protect, Motion Protect Plus, and a Cambi Protect. So, a passive infrared sensor working principle lies in measuring or, well, um, uh, infrared light or heat emitting from an object in its field of view. And as we all are warm blooded, we are emitting heat with our bodies, and the infrared sensor created that way to detect that heat in its sight, which is a 12 meters distance for the both versions. Now, I am arming, up armed, closing the app. Look at my phone, now let's imagine I just, um, I'm on a job, I just armed my system in my home, I got a kids and other stuff, and some intruder got, gets in. And next, it launches a siren. Here's how it happens. And also the Ajax Motion Protect created that way to ignore pets under a weight of 20 kilograms or 44 Pounds. But a real difference here between a regular and a plus version is that the plus one has an additional microwave sensor in it, which makes it suitable for the rooms with air, conditioners, fireplaces, and where is a probability of a light flickering glare and well different reflections. Although uh, this function specifically reduces the sensor's battery life from up to 7 years for a regular to up to 5 years for a plus. And also we got a reduced operating range from 1700 in here to 1200 meters. Now the Glass Protect, a small, thin and simple device that has a microphone and a sound volume meter built in it which operate in principle is based on a two-step sound recognition to exclude a false alarms probability. And the first is spotting a deep hit noise, and after it, the exact sound of a glass crashing down into a floor. A diff hit sound. So that's how it happens. And the second thing, the exact sound. And there we go we got an alarm notification. And it is able to spot those sounds as far as 9 meters away from the vent. Thousand meters operate range, 15 milliseconds to transmit, a threat signal, and 7 years battery life. And like, now imagine all of the listed before sensors all together in a single body. And you don't have to do that. Ages have already took care of it and made a uh, where is it? A Combi Protect device that has an infrared sensor and a microphone. There is it to spot both motion and glass breakage sound, which is awesome and is cheaper actually. But a broken glass recognition rate 3 to 5 meters here, and also the battery life decreased here from up to 7 years to up to 5 years. And well, that's reasonable as we got here two fully fledged and uncut sensors in a single body. But yet, the operating range is still at 1200 meters, meters here. What we have left is a curtain and door protects. And I'm sure everyone knows what's that, but anyways, briefly. This is a red switch, which is able to detect when the contacts are closed or open due to a magnetic field principle. Thus, it is a combination of a magnet and a red switch in here. And that's basically a 1 and 0 closed and open position. Here's the door protect sensor. What we do, we disjunct. And there we go. Studio open, door protect in studio, the notification. So, 
these two additional panels are just a magnet. This one is for on doors installed and this is for on windows installed. The plus version is identical as you can see, except that it has an accelerometer in stock which makes a sensor be able to feel a tilt applied to it and also detect an impact applied to an adjoining door or a window. And that fact decreases the battery life from up to 7 years in regular version to up to 5 years in a plus version. But that also opens a possibility to detect if the adjoining door or the window was harmed and also we're able to arm the system with this sensor in kind of half open position when there's a little gap between these elements and the operational range of both sensors is 1200 meters and you can also pair them with a wired NC detectors and now the Ajax comes curtain and it is a very similar device to a motion protect but there is a few significant differences so the main element we really care about is located on the bottom behind this Fresno lens inside of this inclined, as you can see, cutout. And a purpose of this design is to make you hang the sensor as high as possible right below a ceiling or at a doorway top to create the appropriate angle for sensor to observe a site. Because uh, you see, this is what makes a difference between a curtain and a motion protect. If your angle of a curtain makes up a six degrees, six, yeah. When a motion protects operating view angle is 88.5 degrees, so that's quite a difference. So when you install a motion protect sensor in a right spot, it is able to observe an entire room or a half of it. But a motion protect curtain creates a kind of a straight and thin line coming from top to bottom. And this is where we meet a sensor's attempt and this is a perimeter protection. And we also have here a double infrared sensor coming from here to uh, decrease the amount of a false alarms as it makes a sensor uh, raise the alarm only when an identical motion signal is registered by both sensors. And motion detection distance operates properly on up to 15 meters. The sensor is IP54 inverse protected, operates as far as 800 meters away from an Ajax hub and the built-in battery here will last as long as 3 years. Ajax detectors outdoor and actually the entire outdoor section is represented by the Ajax motion protect outdoor and it looks like an uh, Ajax have just duplicated one motion protect on top of another but what is basically and that is actually what is basically is two infrared sensors in one device. The Ajax motion protect outdoor is aimed to overcome the infrared sensors number one problem the outdoor motion detector sensors accuracy the ball triggerings like you know this trees and bushes leaves fluctuation birds paths and similar stuff so uh, there is also such problem occurring as objects inside are getting sun irradiated and that can uh, cause this infrared sensor to react on the irritant because infrared sensor mechanism is based on catching a heat emitting objects and that is why we have here these two infrared sensors built in uh, they work simultaneously in a 100% synchronization with each other. So, and they recommend that height of the sensors installed is about 8 to 1.3 meters, which is approximately a stomach or a chest area of an average person. So the top infrared monitors a straight line direction and a bottom one uh, is uh, a pointed to the area of a shin and feet. And as a result, the event of alarm happens only if both sensors be uh, beams are simultaneously crossed by a person. And of course, the detection range is customizable via this toggle under the device back cover. Along with a two infrared sensors, it has three anti-masking uh, sensors to recognize and external attempts to block the view of detector. The detection distance makes up a 3 to 15 meters and is fully adjustable with a toggle in frames of this range. Ajax leaks protect, an extremely simple but <laughs> anyways efficient appliance. You attach it to the floor in a water leaks potential spots like under a washing machine, uh, like a dishwasher, bathtub, heating radiators and similar things. Well, in one word, when you interact with a water, and uh, you need absolutely no one's help to install this one. Once a leak happened and this metal contacts on the downside touched it, you'll know that first in the form of a notification to your phone. Now let's test this real life.
And here, I got the notification as fast within a 15 milliseconds. And because, well, that's a number to transmit a threat signal that Ajax confirms to have in all of her devices. And you can place this Lex Protect device as far as 1300 meters away from a central hub. This is a number for built-in HX Jewel radio technology signal transmission distance. And actually, the built-in battery lifelong parameter here makes up five years, making us forget about any leaks in a future five years. And now the Ajax Fire Protect and Fire Protect Plus. They are capable of detecting and smoke and an abnormal temperature increase, which they take in from air into these smoke chambers located on every side of a sensor behind these grids. So yeah, I'm doing this for you. Give him the... Let him sink a bit. And that's <laughs> how it happens. To turn it off, yeah, just press hold this button again. On the front panel, you'll find a hole with a siren, there is it, inside of it, which of course produces a loud noise whenever it spots a smoke, because the fire protect are independent and standalone, they don't need a hub. And this LED logotype is also a sensor button intended for arranging a light detector's test. The last version is absolutely identical regarding, oh, <laughs> regarding the looks. Although there is an additional function that makes the whole difference. Carbon monoxide detection. And I personally would rather buy the plus version because this is how people die in their sleep. There is no smoke, but there is a colorless, odorless and tasteless gas leak that just silently kills in a sleep. And also built-in battery will withstand 4 years and the operating range here is 1300 meters. Ajax Space Control key fob. And there's really not much to say here. Ajax app duplicates its looks on a systems control screen. So basically, yeah, it's a phone replacement with a physical buttons for the fans of the ones. And why you need it as the interacting with the system happens completely via the phone. Well, uh, because during the emergency cases, seconds determine the outcome. Get a phone out of the pocket, unlock it, type the passcode, get into the app, unlock it with a passcode, Woo, go to the admin screen, press the button, or just take this one and press physical button with this, you know, uh, button touch haptic feedback and the LED lights located in the middle here among all buttons. And this is why it's here, because of the speed. So, four buttons where full circle is on the system, turn circle is disarmed, opposite side C letter is in night mode, and the exclamation point inside of a circle is a panic button, oath and triggered to call a security company. Now, Ajax button. Okay, a very simple but sometimes a highly substantial thing. You know how is that happening? You press it and the alarm is on. Used with cashiers in homes and many other occasions. An Ajax button provides us a 1300 meters of a wireless signal transmission over a radio waves and signal will be transmitted faster than in 15 milliseconds this time. And the battery will last up to five years. Next up is the uh, Ajax, Ajax keypad, and it specifically features a 1700 meters as an operating range. The built-in battery, uh, designed to serve the two years, it has a uh, tamper alarm on the back under a cover. Let me get it back. There is it. Uh, and on the upper, we have four LEDs displaying the system status, where this is an armed mode, disarmed, night mode on, and a cross in circle means system has some math functions. Below it, we got a um, 1 to 0 uh, standard uh, keypad, clear button, and a little asterisk here used to select a user group. Input a personal identificator, or it can be a functional button that you can trigger to deactivate a fire alarm or to activate a panic mode and notify security company below. Uh, and uh, yeah, that something is wrong. Below we have a standard system button, which is a arm, disarm, and a night mode. And uh, now I had this question too. There's a key fob, yeah. There's an in controls on the phone, there's an Ajax button. Why would I need an Ajax keypad? And I'll tell you, a scale. 
You have a big family, you have some service staff, or is it in an office, if the answer is yes, this is a must-have thing for you. Because except that you can arm a disarmer system, type in a passcode, you can assign a personal passwords to everyone. And thus you will be aware of who got in under a unique identifier. And of course, we have here such feature as a duress code that silently raises an alarm and notifies a security company if you have typed it in. So yeah, a name reflects functionality when someone forces you to open your inference door and to let them in, you type in the duress code and you, will, and, uh, you won't hear any sirens, but a signal was transmitted to a security company and they are already on their way to you. And now the sirens. <laughs> and indoor and the outdoor ones that you need to scare out any intruder. And you can see the street version is about five times bigger over the home siren. Yeah. Now this is a cloth under which there's the exact butter able to produce from 81 to 105 decibels volume noise for a home siren. And the street siren buzzer is uh, in there is able to produce noises as loud as 85 to 113 decibels. We arm the system, you hear the beep, you see the LED indication in here, meaning the system is in arm mode. We are closing the app, we're putting it, well, let's say, in here. Yeah, and now we gotta trigger the motion protect device. And there we are. And you heard that. This is how it happens. And what's unusual, you won't find here a tamper button, instead of which Ajax installed an accelerometer in here so the device can actually feel if it's being taken off. And what's funny, well, yeah, I can close it. <laughs> what's funny, the outdoor street Ryan makes up 1500 meters as its transmission range, while a home Ryan is capable of 20 hundreds. That's weird. And well, due to this guy's outdoor status, we have the IP54 dust and water protection. And the battery parameter is identical for both sensors and is up to 5 years. And usually when you arm or disarm your system, you receive a push notification telling you that the system was armed or disarmed. And actually, after connecting a siren, either this or this one, you'll also hear a sound and see the LED flashing coming from siren, coming from here, and actually from this entire panel, reporting that the alarm system status had changed. And these things are often bought and installed to frighten away the intruder. I mean, some guy breaks uh, into your house and what happens is that he gets spotted and in that second the siren turns on and the room is filled with super loud noise, the intruder gets bewildered and now the first thing he will try to do is to take off the siren, which is not easy to do too. And your neighbors are there, something went wrong, the intruder know he's spotted, you know he's spotted and the intruder's time decreases with every second. Thank you for being with us today. I left a link for a full sensors review uh, below in the description. So go there, you can find a lot more useful information about sensors and see there uh, every single one practical testing there and the activation part. And also we got all of the Ajax devices officially on the Bevel System Store website within a worldwide delivery for you. So specify you're subscribed to get your special offer. And you gotta know that your protection and your knowing his surroundings are the main goals in the Bevel Systems.